you're in the mix. SKM presents Strictly for the Music Podcast. You are now live with the number one podcast for all upcoming artists worldwide. It's the real. The real deal. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode. This is Strictly for the Music Podcast. I'm your host, SKM. And this is a guy live in the red pop artist from Loud Pack Mob. With two albums to his name, as I wanted to, one mixtape, I'm King. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to our guest, The Rock. Yeah, hey. What's up? What's up with you, fam? What's up, big dog? Right. Hey, man, I appreciate you coming on this podcast and sharing your music. Thanks me, fam. Hell yeah, big dog. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, let's start with the first question, big dog. Um, how did you discover your sound and what was the process like creating it? Discover my sound. Ooh, that's a good one. Because you, I'm, I adventure around with a lot of sounds. But how I actually discovered my sound was I have to give it to closest one, of, three of my close homies, Don Zilla, D Savage, and Street Heat. He was my former close homie, but we'll get into that a whole different situation. But yeah, they was letting me know like I, I have a cool West Coast vibe, and I just need to stick to doing what I'm doing at that moment in particular time when I was coming probably like halfway between the I am King volume one, like halfway in between there's like, I like that sound. You need to keep on going with that one. And it just kind of picked up escalated, you know, more you, the more you practice, the more you get better. So, you know, I've been practicing on my craft a lot more. Oh yeah, big dog. That's what's up, man. So, uh, man, uh, let's go with the catalog right now, big dog. Um, as time won, man, how did that project come upon? Well, because I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, so I and I have a lot of styles, and I figured I, I started it off before I actually came out with Spaz Time Part One. I had a lot of tracks always saying like spazzing once again, or spaz session, or some always spazzing, and I started thinking like. Well, I got to give the fans, you know, a spaz volume one, like me just spazzing all over the whole album so they could appreciate it. And the first one did super good. The second one didn't do as much good, but I kind of fell off Band Lab a little bit. I wasn't on as I was when I first started. But I think it's better than number one, though. Hell yeah, big dog. Hell yeah. So uh, what's, what's one of the biggest singles on that album right now, big dog? On oh, which one? Number one or number uh, two? Uh, number two, man. Or number one, I mean, my bad. All right, number one, the biggest I will have to go with. Um, oh, there's a lot of good ones. I have to, I'll, my favorite one is shoot first. You know, shoot, yeah, be shoot first, ask questions last. Um, featuring Kenny Mack and I'm featuring Don Zilla. That was like a real, a real killer Cali, just letting everybody know, you know. Killer Cali about to come back with some more fire. Everybody around the world, Cali got bars too. Don't forget about us. That's what that was. So we had to just let them know that we had bars too. So that's why I like that one that much. Hell yeah, man. That's what's up, man. Hell yeah. Um, man. Um, as time won. There was another song on it. Uh, I'm a villain. Oh yeah. Oh, that's one of my favorites too, brother. Hell yeah, big dog. Oh. Love a real song. Oh yeah. Um, how that song come upon, dog? And and besides that, um, is there any collabs on the album that you got? Yes. As a matter of fact, I'm a villain. I got a collab with Ty Too Lit. That's one of my favorite dudes. I love doing musical with, just because he always makes me go into my bag and pull something out. Cause he's always always on top of his shit. So he always made me go in my bag. And how I came out with the villain. There's actually an artist, um, Chris G. Shouts out Chris G. from Texas. Go follow him if y'all not. Um, he actually came out with the song, I'm a Villain First. And I just was on one of my mini style Ram pages one night, and I ran across this song, and I was like, I like it a lot. But no, I, I like you. I'm not doing no blows or nothing, but he just didn't give it too much justice. So I was like, let me just go redoctor this and with my style and my vision, what I feel like what should be done to this track. And that's actually one of my favorite tracks. I'm shocked that you said that. 
Yeah, and that's how I came about with that one because I am a big villain because I watch a lot of anime cartoons and shit and everybody always talk about being a superhero and this and blah, 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 this. Nah, nigga, I'm cripping out here. I'm I'm really a villain in these streets because I get it any means necessary. So that's uh, yeah. that's how I felt at that moment and I made some magic and T.Y. was thankful enough that he was like, I'm feeling this dog. I'm about to hop on it. And I was like, bro, more than welcome to hop on it. And he hopped on it and he made a classic. So I like that one. That's what's up, man. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to T.Y. Oh, for sure, for so, sure. Uh, hell yeah. So, uh, man, um, Oh Na Na, man. Um, that's another That's another <laughs> song off the album, right? Oh Na Na, nah, that's going yeah, to nah, nah, nah. be on Spaz Time Part 3. That, that is oh, part tuned. three. Yeah, stay tuned for part three. That's going to be on Spaz Time Part Three. I actually made that one two months ago. Hell yeah. All right, big dog. Yeah, because I seen that on uh, when I Googled you, dog. That's one of the songs that popped up. Oh. So, you know. Yeah, that's what. Oh, so, yeah. I like that song a lot. I like that song a lot. How that one came about, uh, it was just a real catchy hook. And I was listening to a lot of the baby around that moment, around that time. And I was just like, let me show everybody that I am the man with many styles and I don't always have to come super aggressive or always come like singing. Let me just come with something very, very catchy just to catch everybody's attention. And I did that exactly. And I really like that song a lot too. That's dope, bro. So, uh, man, um, was the mixtape out before the album or what? Well, yes. I came out with I Am King. Well, let's... Let me um, get you back on that because I actually got five mixtapes out, brother. So oh, I, okay. yeah, I Am King was the first mixtape. Then I have a High Times Part um, High Times Part 1 mixtape. Then I have a, a Crypt Mode Part 1. Then I have JFK to LAX Part 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back. The Rock yeah, is no yeah, one. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the five minutes that you put out. And I got another or another question on top of that. Were okay. you doing music before Band Lab? Oh, of course. I've been doing music since I was nine years old, brother. I'm 33 right now. I've been doing music since nine. I'm just glad that, you know, Band Lab actually gave me to where I didn't have to go nowhere and I could actually just sit up and just do music. I was like, oh, that's real cool. So it made it like real official and real easy. Oh yeah, that's right, man. So well, uh, man. Um, so uh, these all these mixtapes are they on BandLab or are they off BandLab? Like, how uh, can the people get them? Yeah, um, they can all get into it. All you gotta do is just hit my profile and go to my collections. I got all my mixtapes. I know I'm actually missing out on a mixtape or two, but I've been drinking and smoking a little bit, so I ain't gonna get it all into that. But that JFK volume, JFK to LAX volume one. That's uh me and Cheddar. That's that Dream Team shit. That's just me and him. We got the number two coming out pretty soon. Then, you know, I got Crip Mode Volume 2 coming out. That's me solo. And that's this is all on Band Lab. I Am King 2. I'm going to start working on that one. I have started. I already started working on that one, but I'm a slow worker. I'm not as fast as I used to be because it takes a lot more time to get the quality that I'm looking for now. I could always get on a track and just spit one verse and be like, ah, there you go. It is sound all right, but the quality got to be there now. It's all about the quality, not quantity no more. That's right. Oh, yeah, man. So uh, let me ask you this, man. Uh, music videos, do you have any upcoming projects that you're going to be or shooting, or do you have a YouTube channel that already got music videos? Yes, I have a YouTube channel, but it doesn't have no music videos on there yet, but I am working on that as we speak right now. I got a couple music videos coming out, uh, Crip for Life. That's going to be my first music video that's coming out. And that's like one of my most popular songs that everybody know me by, Crip for Life. And um, I got another, um, The Come Up, that actually has a music video. That's uh, D-Stag is featuring me on that one. That's a great song. I love it a lot. It's already on YouTube. Go uh, follow D-Stag. He's a hot artist from... I want to say he's from the Midwest. I'm not sure where he's from, but he be getting this thing in. Fuck with that young kid. He showing a lot. Uh, it's a lot of artists. Man, if I shout out all day, it'd be a lot that I have to shout out. We ain't going to get into that. <laughs> right, right. All right, big dog. 
So, uh, man, uh, besides the music videos, have you ever performed? Performed locally, yes. I performed locally in California, but I never really adventured off besides California. I actually put down rapping for a good five years, thankfully. Um, rap Chat, I picked up Rap Chat probably like two years ago. Yeah, two year, three years ago. I picked up Rap Chat because this is my second year on Band Lab. Then, um, shout out to Hippie, Hippie and Street Heat because they both was always telling me about Band Lab. Like, oh, you need to hop over to Band Lab, bro. Like, because everything is more efficient on Band Lab. And I was like, okay, I'm going to check it out, you know. But then I, I don't like to learn new stuff. So when I hopped on Band Lab, I was actually on Band Lab for a good six months before I even touched the studio. Then I started messing around and started getting better. And this is how I became it. This is how I am, who I am now. Oh, yeah, big dog. So I got to ask you this, man. Uh, when you were doing your first performance, man, what were you going through? Like, were you nervous or anything? Bro, my first performance was in Ontario. And I was very, very, very nervous. I'm talking about I had butterflies in my stomach. I, I'm not going to lie. I was high and drunk, and I was still like, I cannot get on stage right now because I just don't want to be that bad seed because I was actually with a group. Shout out to Young Felony Click. That's my group uh, outside the band lab. And that's, well, Young Rock, uh, D-Rock's in it, Lil D-Rock. We got a song, Rocky Sessions, but that's the only one that's um, from Young Felony. Oh, I got Jay. Well, a couple of people on band lab that's from Young Felony, but we ain't pushing it like that no more. We older than that now, but when I was in my first group called Young Felonies, um, we went to Ontario. I got real high, real drunk, and I was still very, very nervous. I had butterflies in my stomach. I was just really scared that they wasn't going to like what I was saying, that I wasn't going to have the crowd rock with me like how I wanted. But, you know, after I rap last, because I'm always the show closer, but after I seen my big cousin, my little brother do it, I was like, okay, I can do this. And Everything worked out good. It worked out great. Everybody fucked with us that night. I felt like I was really doing my ish. So I was like, hell yeah. I was proud of myself. That's dope, man. Hell yeah, man. Um, Man, uh, if you get enough supporters since, you know, we're in this pandemic, dog, um, would it be any, anything or if anyone could expect you doing a live performance on YouTube live, Instagram live, Facebook live, like would that be something you'd be interested in doing? Yes. I'm actually was already thinking about doing one Instagram live because I follow me Instagram. Um, see Rocky bitch. You can follow me everywhere. I'm everywhere, but you know, I'm on IG see Rocky bitch. I got my little son face in the mirror. That is actually me. So yeah. I got a lot of music on there, but yes, I am going to, I'm considering doing a lot of things live. I got a lot of things coming up actually with uh, performances. I'm planning on doing this tour thing. That's what they're talking about now. So, because I am signed with a record label, Blockish Records. That is actually my record label. I signed myself because that's my shit. So, and um, we, we going to really get this on the ball and see where this takes us, you know, but I'm just having fun with it. And I'm, I appreciate everybody that rocks with me, you know, because it, it's not my music's not for everybody, even though I try to hop in every genre. Only two genres I haven't really touched yet is uh reggae. I'm gonna do that one pretty soon. And um like, well, just reggae, because I did everything else. And techno, right? Re reggae and techno techno, those are the only two I haven't touched. I even touched country. I got country music out there on band lab. I got R and B, of course, I got pop. I got uh, rave music, uh, heavy metal, metal music, uh, rock and roll. So I try to touch every genre. I'm trying to touch everybody's ear. It's just not, you know, I, I do music for me. It, like, comforts my soul. It's really therapy. So I love it a lot. But I love to grab everybody's attention as well. So I, I'm trying to dibble-dabble in everything. That's why they call me the man with many styles. That's dope, man. Hell yeah. So let me ask you this, man. Um, do you have any other future collabs you're working on that we that we wouldn't expect that you'd be working with? Oh yeah, I got some coming out. But if I say their names, then you might be expecting them. So I can't let <laughs> I can't let their names go. But trust and believe, I got some fire coming out that y'all gonna really love. I got some. 
I, well, you know, I'm the man on Band Lab that really started this bar session shit. I had to get into that because I have a mixtape called Bar Sessions 2. And that's just with all the uh, hardest people that I think the hardest to meet on the lab, around the whole lab, that actually spit bars, males and females. And I got them all in there from everybody from uh, shit. You name them, I already got them in there. So we all the hot artists that I consider. I ain't going to really be name dropping and all that because there's a lot of beef going on that I'm not trying to get myself into right now because they know I, I'm not, I battle rap as well. I'm not, I just started this battle rap and shit. I got niggas really thinking I'm battle rap out here. And don't get me wrong. I get on a nigga head if they say my name wrong, but we ain't going to get into that. My far brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, let me ask you this, man. Favorite collab? My favorite collab. Can I name two? <laughs> you can name as many as you want, big oh, dog. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. Because I got, I got one with, uh, TY to live. We got a fire explosive track. Um, the name of it, the humble, humble. That's one of our fire tracks. One of our, it's a classic in the making. And I actually have it. It's on Spaz Time Part Two. Uh, is what it's featuring. Eight Four Five Fresh. That's one of my favorite tracks. Uh, track two is called uh, Shut Shit Down. That's one of my all-time favorites. You know, that little East Coast, West Coast connection. You got that little vibe going on and just bringing bars from all around over the nation. I love that one a lot. Then I have uh, me and Donzilla. Donzilla and I, I should say, uh, shit, we have several. You could just check our whole mixtape out. We actually got a mixtape out. Um, day two-ish, that got just all our collabs. And add cheese butter and milk we'd be good cheese help. butter and milk once again yeah, we got a whole little mixtape going out i'm sorry you know kids in this pandemic right now they need to be at school i don't understand this little staying at home and doing what they're doing right now i'll be ready to kill their ass but yeah um i'm good, sorry man. about all that yeah um donzilla and i we got a whole little mixtape out i love everything that we do together for sure and um like Little special, little um, collabs. I got a song called The Studio that's on Spaz Time 2. Uh, Arian and NASA actually featuring me, and that one's one of my favorites. And then I got Real Nigga Music of Do So, featuring Do So, um, for Yard Gang. That that one's a classic for real. Everybody love that one. Man, I could go on forever if I keep on naming it. I'm sorry if I missed out on everybody, but everybody I did collab with. They are my favorites because I fucks with you. So it's just not like they're not my favorite, but man, they are my favorites. I'll be on, I'll be on here forever. So I, I'm just not going to get into yeah. all that. I'm sorry if I didn't mention y'all name, but trust me, I do fuck with y'all for real, for real. Oh yeah. One more, but for sure. Yeah. Bar session part one. That's my all time. One of my favorites, uh, future and cheddar. That's when we first really got started really fucking, fucking with each other. Man, y'all go follow that boy. That boy over there right now spitting heat too. Y'all go follow him, Cheddar De Niro, De Don, whatever you want to call yourself today. Go follow him, spitting heat. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Hell yeah, dog. So, uh, man, if you could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Man, honestly, who I really want to. Well, dead or alive, he's still alive, but his flow is kind of dead. I have to go with corrupt. Like, the prime corrupt and dash, though, because, you know, I'm from the West, and I thrive off them, and I feed off them so much. They're like one of my top three artists, Daz and Corrupt, and I have to go with them for sure. But in the primer days, not now, because... I know them in real life, and it just ain't the they ain't the same. Alcohol that washed them up. All right, big dog. So let me ask you this: um, How are you different from other artists? How am I different from other artists? Because you don't know what I'm gonna bring to the table I'm on a track. You just simply don't know. I just don't stick to myself. I always. It's always something different with me. And whatever rap pattern I feel like choosing or how aggressive, 
Shit, he, I, sometimes I might even sing on the track. That's why they call me the man with many styles, because you really just don't know what I'm going to do on the track. I'm very unpredictable. People really think they could predict me, but they really can't predict me, because I don't even know what I'm going to do, because I never write. It's just I get into the studio, I hear a beat that I like, and I'm going to just go in for a throttle or whatever I feel like that. Oh, yeah, bitch, dog. Uh, well, while I was trying to, before we got cut off, dog, I was asking you, uh, who is your music targeted towards? Targeted towards my music, targeted towards this, t- targeted towards every ear that's out here. I'm not just trying to put out music just for one genre. I'm trying to touch everybody's ear. Some little kids. I'm going to even start making, you know, a little PG for little cartoons that's coming out soon. I'm just going to really try to venture it all. I'm not going to try to limit myself to just one lane. That's how everybody fell. You got to have five pots making money to, in order to get rich. So why stop at one? And you could do Hell it yeah. all. That's dope, man. Hell yeah, dog. Um, man, what is the favorite, what is one of the favorite bars you ever spit on a verse? Woo! That's a, oh man, I really don't even know. I, I, I have a lot of music that makes me cry when like every time I hear a good verse that I spit, I start tearing up. So I have a lot of those, but I say my favorite bar. Uh I really can't tell you off the head. That's a good question. That's a very, very good question. I really can't answer that right now, man. I really can't. I got new bars flowing into my head right now. Uh, I ain't even dwelling on the past no more. But uh oh, um, I have to go with uh, I really don't know. I couldn't even spit it off the top of my head right now. You're good, dog. No, you're good. You got a favorite quote? Favorite quote? To man, <laughs> I, I got so many of them, motherfucker. Ooh, that's a good one. You come with some good ones. Uh, favorite quote I have to go with like, uh, bitch, I need my bread. Like that's, that's facts. Like I always need my money out here. I'm out here hungry. I'm going to get it any means necessary. That's right. Hell yeah. So man, uh, what is the history of where you're from, man? Well, I'm from LA. Of course. I gang bang in San Dimas. So you can say I'm really from San Dimas, but I was born and raised in LA. And I moved off probably like 30 miles away. My dad lived in San Dimas and I lived, I was raised in San Dimas. I went back and forth my whole life throughout. And, uh, shit, I'm an eighties baby. I'm from, my dad was off crack when he had me. Shit. <laughs> what can I say? I'm, I'm actually in that era. I seen it all from gunshots and my grandmother's porch all the way niggas nowadays snitching. And everything in between. <laughs> I just try to stay yeah. out the way, way. Oh uh, yeah, man. Uh, that's what's up, man. Um, so, what are your music guilty pleasures, big dog? My mu- Oh, my guilty pleasures of music, man. It actually just frees me and let me be me, where I don't have to. I don't really think about nothing. It, it's a real. It's a big stress reliever, bro. Like instead of me actually going to fucking do something that would make me be in jail or fucking be life stuck underground forever. It's just, you know, it's a big stress reliever and actually keeps me level-headed. It's, it's really therapeutic to me. It's, it's the biggest relief ever. It's actually better than, it's actually better than getting pussy a lot of the times because it, it's something that relieves me for a couple of days where I'm actually cool. Pussy, you know, that shit only lasts for 10 minutes and you ready for another nut from another bitch. So. That's right, man. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, let me ask you this, man. If C-Rock, your bitch, wasn't doing music, what would C-Rock, your bitch, be doing? Man, I'll be... Uh, Music's just not my only thing. You just see Rock Your Bitch, that's just one side of me. I do a lot of things. So um, I, I will still be a family man. It, I'm really I'm really a family man. I'm all about getting this money, getting this bread, any means necessary. I, my main thing is always just taking care of home, make sure my database is always good. That's the only thing I'm really focused on right now. 
see you after bitches. That's just a, actually one side of me. Shit, I'm born, Gem- I'm a Gemini. I was born June 20th. I'm, uh, they say I'm two faces, but I say I have many sides. I have way more than two faces. I have probably like 16 of the motherfuckers. I don't know if you've seen this movie uh, called The Beast. <laughs> but yeah, like 16 different faces and he was just schizophrenic, but I'm not schizophrenic. But, uh, you know, I'll be a family man, just working, living, living my life and to the fullest. Uh, shit. Yeah, I'll be a family man. <clears throat> that's what I can say. I'll be a family man. Oh, yeah, man. That's number one, dog. You gotta provide for the family. Hell yeah, always. <clears throat> they come first. So let me ask you this, man. Uh, what are your goals in 2020, man? 2020 is up. Ain't no goals. Right? I'm actually setting it down for the rest of 2020 because I'm not trying to catch this COVID. I'm really not. So after my now my goals for 2021 is to really get back on my ball and get back on my grind and really start this touring back up. I'm trying to hit this UK and go see what that's like. Shout out to my boy Merka. Yeah, we got a uh, song Wonderland, one of the hottest weed songs out there that you can find. That's just on Spotify too. You already know, but um, yeah, I'm just don't really try to get this touring back started up, man. I really ain't really trying to move right now because. Right now, all the all the third world countries is really catching COVID. We we the ones that really caught it not first, but you know, one of the first hands in the first wave that really caught it. Now all the secondary places is catching it right now. So I'm just trying to stay put because I'm trying to really travel and go everywhere and explore. Shit, I'm trying to really hit the UK and really go explore. I want to go see what that be like for a little bit. So shout out, I will be out there fucking with all my. East London fans, you already know what it is. That's dope, man. That's dope. So, uh, man, what is the best advice you've been given? The best advice I've been given? Don't. Yeah. Uh, I have to say for my granddaddy, rest in peace. I love you, man. I think about you every day, Felix, for real. Shouts out, Mr. Joe LeVette. My granddad, you know, he always told me, always keep pushing forward, man. Never... Never dwell on the past because you can't change the past. You got to always keep moving forward and learn from your mistakes. You know, and you know, you messed up, like, hypothetically speaking, you know that you want to work out daily and you wake up in the morning like, oh, I don't work out. Well, the next morning when you wake up, you can't dwell on like, oh, I didn't do it. You just got to get to it, man, for real, because it should just keep on moving. The world just keep on rotating. Whatever the fuck you do, do not get stuck in that fucking little... Uh, we we'll call it in the little matrix where you're just stuck doing the same thing. Always do something else and always adventure out. Like for real, it's a big ass world, a big ass world. Adventure out. You'll find something that you're interested in that'll take you there. And, you know, do something that's fun with your life. Well, oh, that's some, that's a, that wasn't even the question. My fault. I was about to go all the way in. I've been smoking a lot this morning, but that Cali weed got me on a whole different level right now. Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> all right, big dog. Um, what would you say to any upcoming band or artist that's coming up in the uh, music, trying to do music like you, man? Trying to do music like me, man. Just stick it to yourself and um, don't worry about the haters. The more haters you get, that means you're doing something real good. And try to strive for more haters all the time. And that's facts. Don't. Like, cause don't get me wrong, out of say 50 people that like your music, you're gonna have a good 20 of them that really don't like your music. And then you're gonna have a good 10 of them that's gonna really be throwing hate towards you in your music. So you, you need a hundred more of them so you can get 500 more followers and likes. Like, you know, that means you're doing something right. Don't let nobody downfall you. Don't let the devil downplay you. Shout out Taliban. Don't let that nigga. I'm just playing Taliban. <laughs> That's dope, dog. Um, man, let me let me tell you how I discovered you, big dog. Yeah, how did you? So, um, when 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 I when I first got on the app in 2019, man, they had a a battle rap league or uh something like that, and uh, man, I just heard you started spitting battle rapping, man. And uh, man, how did you ever get involved in that scene, bro? That's crazy. 
when you that you probably heard one of my first battle raps. I was just trying to get my because I, I had a lot of aggression. And I listened to a lot of battle raps. Like growing up, I was always into the URL leagues. I'm always my favorite, my top favorite battle rapper, Arsenal and Locksmith. I love them too. But now, um, I just heard it, you know, and J1 Club, J1 Flow, he was like, man, join, you know, see if you really got it, see what you can do. So, you know, I joined it and it just happened from there, man. And, I really do enjoy it, and I still do it too. And trust me, I'm on some people's heads. You niggas know who you is. I ain't gonna say y'all name. Yeah, I ain't cloud bro. chasing. Oh right, yeah, big dog. So let me ask you this, man. Uh, how is your music gonna evolve from here? Um, it's gonna evolve. I'm just gonna get more wiser. Yeah. Um, it's just going to be evolve. Um, evolve is going to be more. I'm going to try to reach different fans now. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go out. Uh, it's it's going to be something totally different. I'm not just going to try to give you guys everything you guys been hearing lately. I'm not going to lie. Probably for the past two and a half months, I've been going through my little thing. So you've been getting kind of the same style. But it's time for me to really get back on my mini style shit. Like, just for real. I'm about to just start bringing... I, I don't like commercial rap. I'm, I'm really trying to bring hip-hop back. If niggas don't know, now you know. C-Rock, your bitch, is bringing hip-hop back. It's all about them bars. Fuck that auto-tool singing shit. Man, bring them bars back. Man, I'm tired of everybody saying the same thing, whining it, man, nah, bring them bars back. You want to hear something that's going to make you go, oh, that'll make you, you know, smack the lips off your face type shit. So, man, that's what all I'm about. I'm just about to really bring these bars back, and I'm, I'm about to just stay with the movement, and I'm not going to stop. So you go, my elevation from now until then, you can just check me when I first joined Band Lab 2019. You can hear me from now from my first mixtape into my previous uh album you'll hear the total difference you'll hear the total cadence difference like i'm just it's always going to evolve the more you practice the more you get better so shit oh uh, yeah oh uh, yeah all right big dog so what uh, you want to uh talk about your upcoming album spaz time three and your upcoming oh mixtape? yeah spaz time part three now spaz time part two was real cool i liked it a lot but i Kind of ventured it off and gave you a little bit of everything. Spaz Time Part 3, you could really, really expect me just going all the way in. Just really bar happy, really crazy. And it's going to be new songs that you guys don't even hear on Band Lab or anywhere. It's just going to be all new songs. And it's going to be real hot. i actually been working on it. I got five tracks done. It's going to be a little 15 track, you know, a little hot song for y'all. With a little intro, outro, we ain't counting those, so it's gonna be 17 on there. But it's gonna be 15 close bangers. I'm trying to see my influences is like Dr. Dre. I really grew up off the Chronics and the Chronic Chronic 2001 is my favorite album, and I'm trying to really make an album that you could play from back to back without changing one song, where you'll know it from. Like that's oh, yeah. my goal. That's now when I reach that goal then I feel like I'm complete, but that's my goal. So I, I have a lot of work to do with it. I'm not saying I'm the best at doing it, but I got a lot to do with it. But um, on Spaz Time 3, you just going to expect a lot of different collabs that you guys really ain't going to really thought that I'd never collab with or talk to or even thought that I had beef with. I'm a hip-hop artist. Uh, beat, I do diss raps for fun. I don't beef with nobody on the app. I'm a real-life nigga. I have real life beef out here that real people try to take my life. I don't care about none of you niggas on this app. We're talking about how you uh, uh, battle rap, how uh, you got involved in it, and you were talking about uh, you being, you know, the you being a real dude off the app, and you weren't worried about them uh, about, oh, yeah, about yeah. chasing clout. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's where I was at. Like everybody knows who I do clap. It's nothing serious. It's all on the hip hop aspect. Or nine times out of ten, you really said my name, and I was just like, I got to get back on you. But 
after that is more I'll make a track with them. It's everybody that I have clapped, I actually made tracks with. And I made tracks with them after we clapped each other. I won't say I just clapped them and they folded. No, nah, they'll clap me back. And I'm like, oh, good shit, big homie. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I ate them up. But that's a whole different story. And we'll still go do a song together. So that's just what it yeah, is. Yeah. That's dope, man. That's dope. Um, so, dog, you got any special shout outs you want to give? And if you want to plug in all your social media outlets, let everybody know where they can find your music so they can stream it. Man, social, see Rock Your Bitch. Just how it is on the motherfucking uh, Band Lab app name. Google that shit. Everything to pop up that you want to find from YouTube, from IG to Facebook to Dizzer, whatever. Anything, <laughs> Spotify, Pandora, you name it, it's there. So that and uh, special shout out, you know, I want to give a special shout out to Mini Styles, man with Mini Styles. That's my boy right there. Shouts out, you know, I got a, I got a clap coming to you pretty soon, Mini Styles, because I do owe you, because I don't, I did not forget when you clapped me with that B Rock your bitch. You catch you one as soon as I catch you, and um, but special shout out to that, you know, I want to give a shout out to. The whole blockish records, everybody that's up in that motherfucker, you niggas know who you is. Shouts out to all y'all. Y'all my guys, y'all my fellas, you already know. Then you know, shouts out to uh Cheddar. And we can't forget TY. We can't forget the whole loud pack. Shouts out, that's my other gang. You know, I rose with all them, all my bar stars, all killer cali connections. Then we got family entertainment. Then we got um blasting records. Oh man. I'll do that. Shout out forever. Shout out to all my niggas that I fuck with from Street Heat, even though I clapped you not too long ago. You still my bro. I've been hearing your little side claps, nigga. That ain't shit. But yeah, shout out to you. Uh, SKN, shout out to you too, my boy. You you know, I fucks with you. And, um, oh, yeah. Um, um, really, shout out to the, shout out to everybody on Band Lab, man. Really. Shout out to all anybody that's really fucking with me, that's rocking with me. I rock with y'all too, man. Shout out for real. All love oh, over yeah. here. That's right, man. So, uh, man, I appreciate you coming on the show, sharing your story. I'm gonna link your music after the interview. Oh yeah, good luck, man. You're so. this is Chris the Music Podcast. She rock your bitch, and we're gone.